For the following examples, we're going to see both the sine and the absolute nodes in action through gradient and waveform manipulation. The sine node outputs either 1, 0 or negative 1, according to the value being positive, 0 or negative, respectively. Add the world position and sine nodes, opening their previews. We're using a 3D cube centered at 0 in world space, so we set its x, y and z position values to 0. It is important to be aware of this since we're using a world position node to output the surface position in world space. Connect the world position XYZ output to the emission, so that we can see the full RGB values regardless of the lighting conditions of the scene. Notice how the cube's surface is colored according to its position in the world, and by moving it around the surface, values are adjusted to the coordinates. Drag the sine node onto the previously established connection while holding the ALT key for the editor to set it up automatically, and compile once more. The different values provided by the XYZ axis are now evident due to the solid colors which divide each face's surface, as the sine operation adjusts the values of each point to 1, 0 or minus 1, eliminating the gradient effect. The absolute node removes any negative sign of a value, leaving only the absolute value. Below the last node setup, add one relay and one ABS node, opening their previews. We're making use of the relay node to easily preview the results on different channels, as the node itself performs no operation on its input values so connect the world position Y to it in order to see the extracted gradient. Connect the relay output to the ABS node and its output to the emission port, then compile. The darker half of the gradient, which goes down into negative values, is made positive through the ABS usage, leaving only the center of the gradient untouched as its value was and continues to be zero. We're now going to perform some waveform manipulation in the next examples, which is particularly useful for animating effects. Add the scene time node, which outputs an animated sine wave with values varying between negative 1 and 1, and connect its T output to the relay, sine and ABS nodes. As you may see in the following graphs, the scene wave animation is at its default behavior in the relay node, and through using the sine and ABS nodes we achieve a different pattern.